What's up guys, Rick Denimir, Holy Moly Outdoors. Welcome back to another Tech Tip Tuesday. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. We are so happy to have you here because today we are talking about something fun to do as you gear prep for any type of fishing you're going to be doing this spring, but it'll make a huge difference to draw more strikes. So you're going to want to stay tuned for this one because we're talking about some fun stuff today. Alright guys, so what we're talking about, I mean, what's going to give me more bites? It's not a secret scent, it's not a secret lure, it's not a secret really anything, but it's just a way to tinker with the gear that you have to really bring about more opportunities to draw fish in. Any type of fishing you're doing, whether it's springtime trout openers, whether it is saltwater salmon fishing, or if it's just straight bass fishing, you guys are all going to be able to have something in common. Every lure itself is designed to obviously attract fish. It could be attracted by the movement. It could be attracted by the sound. It could be attracted by the sight of the lure itself. Shape, all those different things. So those are factors that all play into everything that we're fishing with. Early in the spring, especially let's say for example kokanee fishing. A lot of the kokanee earlier in the season respond to different types of lures than they do later in the season. And a lot of that happens to do with attraction. So if you're getting where I'm going with this, we're talking today about how to increase the attraction of your lures. And by doing so, we're going to look into the line of adding tape to that. Tape. So lure tape is what we're talking about. There's so many manufacturers out there. You guys can go look on eBay, find stuff. Your local tackle shop has some. There's even some other stuff online that you can find as well that's just really going to help you guys get more bites. So what do I mean by that? All right, we can break it down. Obviously, every fish species and category could have one or things done. But I'll keep it simple and I'll showcase through this video a few different ways to help add more to your stuff that you already have. I mean, you could take a lure, add a little bit of tape to it, it's brand new. Now all of a sudden, that same lure that caught you fish before might be just dynamite and all you did was change a little bit of color on that lure. So first, all right, I know all you saltwater salmon guys out there, you guys have 40, 50 flashers laying around, right? I'm one of those people. And probably most of those, I only probably use five, half a dozen, right? So you have all these big flashers, big 11 inch, you know, boom, really nice flashers that do catch fish. But there's ways to find tapes that will help enhance. So right here, if you didn't see that already that I showed, I have just an 11 inch Gibbs flasher. This was just a standard green and silver when I bought it at the Sportsman Show. So what I did is I took a strip of glow. And so the cool part about these tape steels, you can buy them strip form, right? So this is about, I don't know, six inches, maybe a little bit longer. They can also come in a roll form. And they can also come in shapes already cut out. So you guys can do whatever you would like to your flashers, to your lures, to really add that attraction. So I take, for my salmon stuff, I'll take a flasher. <coughs> take my flasher. I start adding a little bit of contrast. Now I got glow, I got UV, and I got my colors. So now, as this rotates through the water, it looks different. Maybe that little flash of red looks like a bleeding fish just got killed, they're ready to eat. There's a lot of different things that that can do. So, option one for you salmon guys, just cutting a little strips of tape can make all the difference for that. How about you guys that like to fish spoons? I mean, I don't know if you guys have seen any of our Holy Moly ones, but we definitely do some customization on those. However, there's a lot of stuff out there. If you have your favorite spoon, right? A Coho Killer from Silver Horde. It's an awesome, awesome lure, right? 
add a little bit of UV tape on the back side of that lure. Now it glows, but also reflects UV. Makes a huge difference to potentially drawing in a few more strikes. I mean, on my spoons, right, so I got whatever color I'm running for the actual main spoon. Backside, I have contrast. UV glow, you never know what you're going to want to use, but that helps you out. You know, how about taking, for you kokanee guys, taking just an Aeroflash Dodger. I added some pre-cut tapes and some glow-in-the-dark eyes. And this kokanee flasher does so awesome. And this is actually a Dodger. But this Dodger does so great out there because I have confidence in what I did. I start catching fish. How about a four-pound Roosevelt kokanee? I mean, this stuff, it makes it so much more fun as a fisherman to play around with stuff. How about you kokanee guys again? The shoehorn challenge, right? We took all the tapes on a metal shoehorn and screwed around with them. Now all of a sudden you're catching fish on something that cost you almost nothing. So the customization doing with these tapes is endless. There are so many colors out there between UV, glow in the darks, moon jelly, I don't know, fluorescence. It's just all there and you guys can really play around with it and have fun. I mean, the Brad Superbait cup plugs. I did a whole video series on customizing these up if you want to see that here. But taking a Superbait, this one's a 3.0, customizing that one. Works great for kokanee. Or how about the 2.25, right? Adding some UV and moon jelly with some contrast colors makes a huge difference to drawing more strikes. So, I mean, guys, it's, it's so cool. I notice a huge difference, especially when I'm fishing around other people. If we're all running the same wedding ring for kokanee, and all of a sudden I put a piece of moon jelly tape on the back of the blade, all of a sudden I'm catching fish. Well, it's attracting differently than some of the other ones maybe. So there's a lot that can be done. So you can go again, tapes, all sorts of different colors, sizes. You can get cut out little eyes that you can stick on. Makes it really fun. So one that I really use quite often and is probably the most commonly found at your local stores is the Witchcraft Tape Products. Really good stuff. Highly recommend it. I get a lot of mine from Ted Sports Center. Generally has a really good selection. So I pick that up and that's in Linwood. Um, but online too, you guys can order up. So some great things. I mean, one of my favorites for any of my saltwater spoons, Glow in the Dark. I always put some kind of glow or UV on my gear because it doesn't hurt you at all to have a little bit extra on there. Now, something that's been really cool, and I started experimenting with this just in the last winter when I came across it, there's a company called Hyperviz. This is a tape manufacturer that has almost like a diamond quality to their tapes, meaning it reflects a whole lot more light has a whole lot different look to it than a flat normal tape. So you guys can see here that stuff is super reflective has some really cool colors but a lot just something different right so here's a chartreuse and there's a chartreuse a definitely different type of tape and even the color with that much reflecting doesn't showcase all that great, but that's a flat chartreuse prism tape. And that's a flat diamond there. So you guys can see the difference. A lot of cool colors out there. Great company. I've been starting to, to work with them a little bit. I mean, taking my customization of our little tiny spoons we did a video on last week with the God's Tooth, right? So here's one of the new colors. And there's what the Hypervis tape on the back. You guys can see how much different flash that adds to it. Really, really cool. One of my favorite and most productive colors with the God Tooth. I added a reflective eye there and some moon jelly. Really does well. 
So honestly, opportunities are endless. You guys can go have fun. Crank baits for bass. You guys could do it spinner baits. You could take a blade, carnivore blade from How Deep Tackle, right? It's a little bit larger size for our salmon fishing, or you could take a kokanee size, right? Uh, let's just say on this larger one, I want to add a little bit different color contrast, right? So I'm going to take, if these will play nice, one of the red reflective eyes. I'm going to put that dead center underneath. When that blade's spinning, all you're going to see is the underneath. So why not have a focal point of that eye? I can then take a pair of scissors and cut off a small strip of our glow, right? That glow strip can then be measured up right onto the blade itself. And it makes this just so cool because everything can be customized. You can make a UV and really effective bait all of a sudden become glow in the dark. So just doing that, right? I added glow in the dark and an eye so those fish are going to see something different. You can do it on the other side too. Really is up to your own customization. I mean take in a simple ice fishing cast master right which would work great for trout in the lakes. Add an eye on one side, moon jelly on the other. Adds way more flash, something different. That's the biggest thing guys, I mean when you're doing something different Generally, you may be the one that's getting the bites when the fishing is slow. You also might be the one to first limit out because you got something secret, which is just a little tape. So I hope this helps you guys as you're getting here into spring. We finally got some warm weather. It's time to get out on the water, but doing some gear prep beforehand can really help you get more bites. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will put all the links to the stuff below for you, and uh, we'll catch you out on the water. So thanks so much. Take care, and fish on.